Let's see how can you improve your health. This is pile one, four of swords, pile two, the empress, and pile three, queen of wands. Pause the video here to read them straight across. They're looking the community to have to read them straight across. I'm going to start with pile one. So this is how to improve your overall health, how you can improve your health. Okay, so pile one. You need to bathe in an Epsom salt bath with amethyst crystals. I'm also getting um, pink amethyst crystals as well. Um, Serenity essential oil blend from doTERRA. Also anointing your head with essential oils, okay? Frankincense, myrrh. Um, also going on the elliptical, going out for a walk. So some of you take the baths and spirit's like, okay, you're stalling though. You need to exercise. You need to work out, okay? I'm also seeing rose petals in your bath. I'm also seeing putting juniper berry around the corners of your eyes. Do not do it by yourself, spirit said. One eleven on the clock. Work with me to show you how to use essential oils without burning yourself, okay? How can they improve their overall health? Some of you need to indulge in self-care. Delve into your lower chakras, your subconscious, okay? To balance that out. So you can also improve your health by eating. Oh, I didn't even notice that. It looks like kale. Eating kale, eating um, radicchio. I'm hearing oatmeal for some of you. I don't recommend oatmeal to everybody, but some of you may need to eat oatmeal. I think some of you could be weaning off. If you're weaning off, you still could eat certain things. Okay. Um, also heard flavor of the month. So some of you could have been dealing with someone who had a flavor of the month. And so you're healing yourself, you're focusing on yourself, but some of you are, like I said, you're doing the Epsom salt baths, but you still have a food addiction because of heartbreak. Because someone had a, someone switched you out or something. And for others of you, you, you switch what food you crave during the month or flavor of the month, or your menstrual cycles heavily impact what you crave. Okay. And sometimes it's unhealthy. Some of you are starting to eat healthy. I'm also seeing like tomato sauce or red peppers, making like steamed kale with some red peppers. I'm here. Oh, that sounds good. You know, um, more nuts as well as like vitamins and minerals. Some of your vitamins are just rocks. There's no, it's like a placebo. There's no um, benefit. Okay. I'm also hearing there's no financial benefit to it. So if you're investing in yourself, there's no financial benefit. Um, you could also, this is a good reading. I like this reading. It's very healing. <laughs> you could walk through that door and not look back at what no what's no longer serving you, okay? Meditating, focusing. I'm hearing 211, 211, 211, 211. I'm seeing like, like numbers and stuff. Electrical writing. Um, I'm hearing evil, devious. Your eye's going to be awakened so you can avoid, oof, so you can avoid evil, toxic people, evil, toxic entities, uh, things that are no longer serving you, things that want to plague you, things that want to trick you. Spirit said no more of that. But spirit, there's a flute here too. Some of you need to listen to flute music as well. Some of you need to play the flute, play an instrument, okay? To help align chakras of you and others, okay? Okay. Healing hands, some of you have. A lot of you have Reiki healing. I'm getting DG from Ten Man with that healing circle on her hands. I hear this song again in the name of love. So some of you need to heal your relationship. I'm seeing lotus flowers. Maybe you need to go on a retreat or they are going through a spiritual awakening. That's what's going to help heal your 
I heard counterpart. There goes my hair. What else? Yeah, this could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini. Or just like I said, the opposite of you. I said that in another reading. Or a Taurus. You could be seeking high. You need to seek higher knowledge. Okay. I heard plagued with infirmities. Plagued. Some of you have pain. I'm getting menstrual pain. You could also have abdominal pain. And I'm seeing you feel like you got to suffer. I'm hearing woman with the issue of blood. So I'm getting you're like, well, how do I sit at the feet of Jesus? And the feet of Jesus is up here <laughs> okay crucifix that pineal gland eating healthy working with someone who knows their, their shit okay taking herbs and tinctures dr morris's is excellent you don't have to beg beg god to heal you you physician heal thyself become your own physician or work with someone who's a physician someone who you know like me was helped people globally that's it. It don't have to be all, oh, Eli, I love this. I'm crying. Oh, I'm in pain. It don't have to be all like that. That's why I don't, church is good for some things. I'm not going to bash church because scriptures and I learned a lot, but some churches don't, they teach that about struggle and begging God and crying until something happens. I mean, make shit happen. Jesus Christ, literally. Okay, some of you need to leave what no longer serves you if this is a job. I feel like for a lot of you, this is a job or a creative project. You don't know if you're going to make funds. You will, but you got to go through, you got to be made. You got to go through that Moldavite moment. Okay, some of you could do hair or something, hair, makeup or something, or shoes or clothes or something, or all of the above. What else? Yeah, I'm hearing fake it till you make it. For some of you, you just don't focus so much on your hurt. I mean, obviously you got to heal, but don't, you know, dwell on it. The emperor. Didn't the empress come out? No, you got the emperor and the priestess. Yeah, definitely a creative endeavor. So playing, I heard playing for God, which helps people heal. Healing frequencies, okay? Yeah, death and rebirth. You got to go through. Some of you have gone through this transformation. Some of you, that's you need to go through it, okay? To book a reading, click the link in the description box below and sign up for my Patreon with videos that I do not show on YouTube, okay? Pile number two. How to improve their health. I just want to, like, readjust my L hive, Fez hive. All right. Okay. Traitor, spirit, and angels. Some of you could have cyst or cystic fibrosis, cystic acne even. Some of you could also be overweight, dealing with weight gain. I'm getting PCOS. For some of you here and someone say, how did she know? Spirit knows. Let me see what else. For others of you, you could be a parent already. I'm not getting some, someone could be pregnant, but I'm not getting someone who is. How can they improve their, I'm hearing their mental health. Again, by having a spiritual awakening. I heard gospel of truth. Third eye, some of you, you're heavily spiritual. Some of you are in perfect harmony. Some of you are in perfect harmony. But you do need to listen to other people. Some of you people give you unsolicited advice because you're deemed as weird to other people. So they think that you need help. And others of you, you do need to listen sometimes, okay? It's for some of you because you don't know everything. I know you went through a lot, but Spirit said you don't know everything. Some of you could be very quirky. And this pile. So man, you're manifesting. You know how to manifest and make stuff out of nothing. But I'm seeing some of sometimes you just you're not someone who wants people to work with you or help you. You like to co-create with the divine. 
You like to co-create with the divine. Yeah, you push people away who want to like collaborate with you because they don't come with the right energy. What else? Yeah, you're in perfect alignment in this pile. I don't really have too much to say, but what I said... You eat healthy, you're focused on, you know, what you need to focus on. Some of you, like I said, you just need to lose some weight, spirit saying. Yeah, your prayers reach heaven or whatever it's called, other realms. Again, there's that gut. I'm, I'm just seeing someone who, stay away from seafood. I'm getting pesticides, I'm getting stuff that eats away at your gut, like parasites, parasitic. Some of you dealt with parasitic people. That's why you don't deal with that. Yeah, you were trapped before, but you're not. Yeah, you you got rid of that. What is this here? Yeah, eight of voices and ten of voices in the reverse. You got rid of those people who were unkind to you. And if you haven't, that's going to improve your mental health by getting rid of parasitic people. Yeah, you found your tribe. Some of you are loners, but you're going to find your tribe whether you like it or not. People want to help you. People like you. Um, and some of you, you're, you opened up to that. As I said, that there's a big moon here. You opened your heart because the moon is like emotions, heart based, you know, cancer. You opened up to that, you know. So this could be even like your, your neighbors or like if it's not your neighbors, it's just people who are on your level. You do have a community, camaraderie. I heard rivalry. A lot of you dealt with rivalries and you're just like, not anymore. <laughs> Someone could want to redeem themselves. This could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, they don't want to fight anymore. Okay. That's it for pile number two. Pile number three. Oh, pile number three. How to improve your health. Uh, do your hair. <laughs> I did my hair, but it's falling down because it's mine. It's mine. Some of you could have cut your hair. See how she doesn't have hair. Maybe hair was a hassle or hair was costly for you or something or you just, hair doesn't define you. You could be a Leo with a shortcut, surprisingly. Well, some Leos have shortcuts. I've seen that too. You could be tapped into your Aquarius side. I heard Aquarius, Venus, also heard sickle cell anemia. So some of you... I'm getting sickle cell anemia, but you're very tapped into the other realms. I'm seeing pyramids. You're very tapped into like ancient Egypt, ancient deities. Um, cheetahs could be your spirit animal. Cats could be your spirit animals. Very out there in a good way. It's giving, <laughs> there was a tweet that said Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Virgo are the same person. And I totally understood it. They are. Sagittarius is usually a high vibrational Sagittarius or Sagittarius and they're usually clean. They're usually um, judgmental and kind of think they know everything like an Aquarius slash Virgo. They're, it's like they're the same, like they're judgmental. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. They're judgmental, clean and otherworldly. So I'm just getting that vibe, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Virgo, and Leo, because this is queen of inspiration, but it's like you're tapped into your Aquarian side. What else? But there's that Gemini cork there. Um, some of you could be teachers or you're meant to be teachers. I'm, I'm seeing like yoga. Dance teacher. 
But I'm also getting like, I don't know, it's giving coven again or working with people that there's that Gemini card, which is the opposite of Sagittarius or working with, um, I'm getting like a spiritual workplace. It could even be a spa, a spa day, like saunas, spas. Some of you could get into that. Cancer. Very spiritual pile. I heard miraculous pile. I don't. The star. There's Aquarius. I told you. All the cards that. I, and there's Leo. <laughs> All the cards that I was. Um, zodiacs that I was saying. Some of you could be single mom, single parents, and I feel like you really. Spirituality helps give you the strength to override. That feeling of loneliness and overwhelm. I heard my loneliness is killing me. By Britney Spears. But again, you could have someone who's who works with you who's the opposite of you. I feel like you found your perfect match. Or you're, again, this is another pile who is in... Um, perfect alignment. I do feel like there's some foods that you want to lay off of. Some of you could eat dairy and meat products because you feel it's beneficial. I don't recommend, okay? There, as I said, there's Virgo. <laughs> I told you I was getting the vibes. You have the Hermit, the Star, Temperance. So Temperance is Sagittarius. The Hermit is Virgo. The Star is Aquarius. I told you they're all the same person. So you're in perfect alignment with yourself. But it's just that diet, some food you're eating isn't conducive. Five of materials. Some of you are winging it. You know, you need to let people help you is also what I'm getting. Some of you could have a business that you're training, but you're relying on spirit. But I'm saying you need to let somebody help you. You do have um, resources. So you need to reach out to someone. Yep, Ace of Voices, that's the truth. You need to reach out to someone, let them help you. Book a Find Your Purpose reading. I have helped spiritual businesses as well. The link is in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. Remember to sign up for my Patreon. <laughs> people do love the videos in there, okay? And thank you to people who have already signed up, although it's brand new.